It was the last wilderness on earth. It was not only stunningly beautiful, but it was also an important laboratory for the human race. You could find out what we were doing to the planet elsewhere. You needed that pristine environment to be able to really get a, a take on what, what was happening to our planet as a whole. There were two things that were happening in the background. One was the Cold War, and the other was the emerging threat of global warming. And I felt it was important that there was one place left on Earth where cooperation, as opposed to competition, was the governing form. And if we could not decide now to put off limits the oil and gas that exist in the Antarctic, we were going to have no hope of saving the rest of the planet. The Antarctica campaign was a lesson in the importance of impossible ambitions. The governments that were negotiating this treaty had just finished negotiating the Law of the Sea Treaty. They knew each other, the negotiators knew each other. It was a pretty tight club, and they were pretty sure they were going to do this next treaty. There were some non-governmental organizations that collectively said the notion of establishing a world park in the Antarctic was completely unrealistic and that it was, it was not going to ever happen. It's a combination of public support, giving politicians a mandate to do the right thing, to show that they will be congratulated if they do the right thing, they will be heroes. But at the same time, this campaign had uh, a lot of support behind the scenes at a high level. Um, heads of state were being called by colleagues, former heads of state, other high level people, and saying, come on, what are you doing? The Antarctic expeditions played a huge role in making the campaign real for people. They could see what was at stake there. Just having scientific bases there was creating an enormous mess. Garbage everywhere. McMurdo Sound was a dump with PCBs in the water. But we were able to show people what the impact would be if there were actual industrial development. One of the other most important things I learned about that campaign was to never give up hope. There came a point in time when we thought we'd lost it, the uh, Minerals Treaty was signed. It had been agreed by all of these governments. They were patting themselves on the back for having achieved it. Some even in Greenpeace thought we'd lost the campaign. But there were a number of us who said, no, we needed to persist because it wasn't over until it was over. And as we saw, the once the French abandoned it, once the Australians abandoned it, the whole thing fell apart. And all it really took was a couple of countries with the um, with the foresight to imagine what no one else had imagined before and just said, let's just do it. Let's just make this happen. And everybody had said it was impossible and suddenly it became possible. And a year later, we had the Madrid Protocol to the Antarctic Treaty, which established uh, a 50-year moratorium on mining.